Greetings to Dane Simair. And um, this video is really just a really quick, very, very quick video on how to build an airstrip uh, doing it my way. I know there are many, many, many videos online to watch. The best channel to watch how to create a proper airstrip or airport or any kind of scenery work is one done by Stephen Walker at Patriot 6. That's the name of his his uh, YouTube channel, Patriot 6. I guarantee you uh, he is the best. And I learned from him about Oh, I don't know, half a year ago, six months, eight months ago. And I've now built probably eight or ten. Uh, I've built about eight airstrips, and I've redone an existing airport to make it into its um, original state. So what I've done right now is um, loaded up Microsoft Simulator, and it's now... Uh, just going to time how long it takes to do this. It's uh, 10 after 8 my time, which is the west coast of Canada, Pacific Daylight Time. Okay, enough said. Let's get to it. This is what I do. Um, let me... Um, let me go into, first of all, let me move this out of the way. Let me go into the my main monitor. It's going to take a little nav map, map off the screen. Put that out of the way. So, this is my folder for holding all of my scenery files. I just happen to call it MSFS SDK. You can create a folder, call it whatever you like. These are my files and folders, miscellaneous things. But right at the top is all of my sceneries that I have built. Okay, so let's close that. Now, uh, what we want to do is create a new folder. And this will be the folder, because I'm not going to use my existing folder. I'm going to start from scratch. We're going to create a new folder. And we're going to call it whatever you want to call it. Um, SDK, I don't know, whatever, test. SDK test. How's that? So here we have a completely blank folder. There's nothing in it. Now on previous videos with previous SDKs, and by the way, the SDK I'm running right now is the latest since today's update for Sim Update 12, SU12, and I have the latest SDK. But prior to this SDK, I also found that there is absolutely no need to go in to, uh, let's say, the scenery. Uh, let's see, where is it on here? Simple scenery. The simple scenery folder. There's no need to go in and create all of these folders. Absolutely no need whatsoever. Because... Microsoft has now automated that and does it automatically for you. So all you need is the the main folder to hold all your sceneries in. So that's SDK test is what I've created. A blank folder. All right, so let's close that. Let's now open up a little nav map. So Here's a little nav map. We, I'm going to load my airplane in Chilliwack right here. Charlie Yankee, Charlie Whiskey. I'm just going to load it at a parking spot, any parking spot. And what I'd like to do is I would like to build a new airstrip right over here. There's a pond in real life 
but I've discovered that in Microsoft Flight Simulator they have not created it as a pond. It's kind of a dried up bed. But I'm going to build an airstrip that goes this way. Okay. So here is what I'm going to do. I am going to uh, go into Microsoft Flight Simulator, which I should have done. I should have had it up and running before. I'm going to go to CYCW, which is Chilliwack. And I'm just going to park ourselves at any parking spot. I'm just going to parking spot number four. And let's put this on clear skies and sunshine. All right, so that's where we're going to spawn. We're spawning on there. Okay, so while that is happening, well, we'll just wait for it to start. I'll just pause the video until it starts. Okay, let's uh, click ready to fly. And we are now at parking spot number four at Chilliwack Airport in the Icon A5. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go into slew mode. And what I need to do is actually bring a little nav map over so you can see what I'm going to do. All right, so we're going to move our airplane, which is right here, from parking spot four. And we're going to move it over to where I want to build a new airstrip. which is right here, where that little pond is right there. All right, so let's, uh, let's go into slew mode. And let's raise our airplane up in the air. And maybe I can make little nav map a little smaller and bring it onto this screen as well so we can see what's happening. There's the airplane there. There's the airplane there. Okay, let's start moving. All right, so we're moving the airplane. Over to... Right, we have to go over to this area here. Just move a little nav map down so we can see where we're going. Where is our, yeah, right over here is where we want to go. All right, let's move the airplane over there. Right, right here. There's that dried up pond. And here it is on a little nav map. And I want to make the center of the runway right beside the pond. So we're going to do a 1500 foot runway. Okay. And I want to be on a heading of 330. So we'll just move to 330 right there. Just move up a little bit further, right about there. All right, so now we're going to bring the airplane down. All right, we're on the ground. And the next thing I do, oops, why did that open? I don't want Sky Vector, I want little nav map. All right, let's make this bigger. Let's get rid of the uh, the breadcrumb trail. 
All right, so we want a 1,500-foot runway going this way. All right, so just like building a house, the foundation is the most critical thing. So what we want to do is when you're, when you're building just a single runway, like an airstrip, what you should do, let me just draw a little picture here what I'm trying to explain. Just drawing a little picture. So, um, let's bring the picture over. So what you want to do, if you're creating a single airstrip like that, you want to try and get the airplane right in the middle of the airstrip, of the runway, I should say. And at that point, you want to take note of the elevation that the airplane is at and the latitude longitude, because that's your foundation to the whole building process. From that point, everything, everything is built on. Now, if this was, um, so you, what you want to do is you want to put your, your center point right here. Okay, and that'll be your latitude, longitude, and elevation of the airport. Now, if you were building. Um, let's say, a large airport with several runways. So, I don't know, let's say you had a runway, you know, here, oops, what did I do? There we go. Let's say you had a runway there, and maybe you had a runway going this way. And I don't know, maybe you had another runway going this way. And let's say all the buildings were around here somewhere. These are all the buildings. You would probably want to make the center of your airport in the center of the perimeter of the airport. So you'd probably want to make your center right here. as opposed to if you were doing a single strip, a single runway. Which is this picture. If you're doing a single runway, you want to put the center point in the middle of the runway. But if you're doing a major airport, you want to put the center point in the center of the perimeter of the airport. This becomes your latitude, longitude, and your elevation of the airport. Because all airports, small or big, are never ever completely flat. The elevation at this point of the runway is going to be different than the elevation over here. And it's going to be probably different than the elevation over here. So the elevation you want is in the center of the perimeter of the airport if it's a large airport. And if it's a single runway, you want it in the center of the runway. Because if it is a sloped runway, the elevation might be different there to here. If it happens to be completely flat, then these two points should be the same as this point. Okay, that being said, let's get going. So what I do with my with my little nav map right here, I right click in the center of the airplane, which is where I want the center of this runway to be, and I create a user point. So I'm going to add a user point right here. And I, you can call it whatever you want, center. Center runway. All right, and you don't really have to do anything else, but I usually, I usually give it a, 
just a little tension, right, red triangle of tension. All right, so that little red triangle now becomes the center of our runway, and the elevation will be taken from there. So what we want to do now, let's just move little nav map out of the way for a minute, and let's see what Microsoft says is the elevation that we're at. Okay, there we are. Take it out of slew mode. All right, so we are at 25 feet because each of these is 20. So 20, 25, that's right in the middle. So we're at 25. Oh, sorry, what am I saying? That's 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. No, we're actually at. 30 feet. We're actually at 30 feet, not 25. We're at 30 feet, maybe a little bit less, maybe 27 feet, 28 feet, something like that. So what I do now is I grab my calculator because everything has to be in meters. So 28 feet, let's say, is 8.534 meters. So I write that down, 8.5344 meters. That's our elevation. All right, so we've got that. Now, let's get our latitude, longitude. We go to the center here, click on that. It tells us what our latitude and our longitude is. So our latitude is 49.1977 and our longitude is 122, which is minus 122. To decimal, let's move that cursor out of the way, 0014. 0014. Because anything that's west longitude is a minus sign. Anything that's east longitude is a plus sign. All right, so we have our foundation to build our house, or in this case, to build our airstrip. So let's now move this out of the way. And let's go into the developer mode. Let's just move this back to 330 because the airplane, I, I jiggled the, uh, there we go. All right. Let's go into developer mode and let's start building a new airport. So it's a new project. And remember what I said, there is no need to pre... There's no need to uh, rebuild There's no need to, I had to bring that folder over. i sorry, it took me a little while. This is our test, which is empty. There's no need to pre-build a whole bunch of folders in here. No need at all, you'll see what happens. So let's get building. So we need to tell Microsoft where the folder is that we want to hold all our scenery. So we're going to do this and do that. And it is called SDK test, which is this folder right here. So that's the folder we want to, re to hold all our scenery. All right, the project name is, um, let's call it um, 
airstrip test. And it's by same air in this case. It'll be by you if you build your own airport. So create a new project. So right away, you can see Microsoft has already created the folder airstrip test. And look at this. It's even created an XML file. This has all been done automatically. I didn't do any of this. All right, move that out of the way. So let's go to package and let's go to next and let's go to airport and let's give it a name. So we're going to call it the same thing. Airstrip test. That's the name of our airport or our airstrip. Go to next. Let's bring this over here. So, we're not overriding a new, an existing airport, we're creating a new airport. We need to give it an ICAO code. So we're going to use C for Canada, and we'll go, let's see, air, airstrip test, AS, how about AST, airstrip test. Oh, that's cast. That's interesting. So, airport name is air strip test or whatever the name of your air airport or airstrip is okay here is where we're going to put in these latitude longitude numbers that i wrote down latitude 49.1977 longitude because it's west it's minus 1 Two two decimal zero zero one four, and Microsoft rounds this up. And the altitude we discovered on the uh, calculation that we did right here, eight point five three four four. Eight point five three four four. That's our altitude in meters. All right, let's create the airport. Now, let's look at what Microsoft automatically did. I didn't do any of this. So remember before it had put in airstrip test? Look at what it's done. It's done packages. It's done metadata. It's done package sources. And in package sources, it's done scenery. And in scenery, it's done everything. We have not touched anything. It's all been automatic. All right, so now that that's done, what we now need to do, what I should do is uh, Turn my screen onto the other, turn my recording onto the other monitor. There. All right. So now we're going to click on the airport, click on scenery BGL. We're going to load in editor, which we have just done. And we have the scenery editor right here. Okay, there's nothing in here yet. We have uh, airstrip test. Uh, what you should do, we don't have to do it for this, but what you should do is put in the, the region name, and I think North America is what it's called, and then the country is Canada in, in, in this particular case. The state is BC. The city name is, well, it's not really in Chilliwack, so we'll call it Chilliwack Flats. We'll give it a new name, a new city. How's that? So that's that. I am not going to, whoops, what did I do? I'm not going to flatten. There's no need to flatten because the ground looks, ground looks pretty good to me. Uh, I'll just pop back over and look at that. 
ground looks really good to me. I don't see any reason to flatten. No. All right. So All right. So what we've done there is um created the airport or the airstrip. And what we should do before we go any further is we should save the scenery so we don't lose anything and click on the top Simair Airport, name of the airport. Oh, just a sec. We need to put a placeholder in here. It's the placeholder. Um, let me find where I've got my placeholder. I think I've got it in here. No, that's not where I've got it. Let me find. Oh, I've got it in here. Um, right here. There's my placeholder. You'll see what that is in a minute. Of course, you probably already know what I'm talking about. That's the name of your company. All right. So we've saved the scenery. And now we're going to build a package. It wants you to save. Yeah, we'll save again. And we're going to build a package. Hopefully there will be no errors. Sometimes there are when you first build. Just give it a minute. All right, there we are. It uh, finished. None were skipped. Four were done. And none, were f none of them failed. So that's all good. So what I do now is I go to the debug fold, uh, drop down and click on console and that gets rid of that report that we just got. All right, so now what we need to do is what I would do now next is create a runway. So the first thing I'm going to do now is pop up over here to objects and I'm going to go to runway and our primary runway is 33 and I can go to the uh, just a sec I need to move this camera so you can see what I'm doing this is difficult. I've got this on two monitors, so it's kind of hard to see. Maybe I can move this over to here. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I can, I have a choice either to just raise the airplane up in the air, which I usually do, or you can go to this camera mode, top down mode, and raise yourself right up. be honest, I don't really like that mode. Let me just go back to where I was before. I like to just raise my elevation up with my own controls. And I, my controls are on an Xbox controller, but you may have controls on, a, on your keyboard. I don't know. So we're going to put this runway in place. So runway 33, we're going to add it. There it is. We've added the runway. So what we need to do is, I'm just going to bring the gizmo over here. We need to rotate the runway so it's at least going in the direction of the airplane. Let's move our camera down so we can see this a little bit better. That looks like the direction of the airplane, I think. Let's just have another look. I would say that's pretty darn close right there. All right. So now that we've done that, go to translate. What we want to do now is set up the correct 1500 foot length. And let's make it about a 40 foot wide runway. So what we want to do now is bring in the properties menu. And we want to go to Configuration. And we want the length to be 1,500 feet. 
in order to know what that is in meters, we need our handy dandy calculator. So, clear that. So we'll put in 1500 feet, which is 4457 decimal 2. So this is going to be 457 decimal 2. And you can see that you can see that the runway all of a sudden went out to 457.2. All right. All right. And we want it to be 40 feet wide. So let's see what that is in meters. 40 feet is 12.192. So this is going to become 12.192. All right, so there's the width of our runway. So we've done the configuration. So let's do the materials. So let's, right now it's saying it's asphalt. I don't think I want asphalt on a, on a bush airstrip. So what we need to do is bring in the, the material editor. Actually, it's right here. Right here, and let's change this to, well, not material ed editor, we, yeah, material editor, that's what we want, material editor, and we want a sobo ground, and I don't know, I don't know what to make it, I'll just make it, um, oh, I don't know, ground, soil, uh, let's see, add material, let's go, Ground soil three. Drag it over to here. So there we go. We've got a. We've got now. Let's let's do grass. Let's do grass. I don't like. It doesn't really matter. Let's do grass. Let's try this one. Um, do I like that or not? Um, let's just see. Oh, well, you know what? For this, for this, this is all. This is all we need to do for this demonstration. Oh, here, grass zero two. This is the one I like right here. Grass zero two. There we go. That's the one I like. All right, so we've got the material done. We don't want any ground merging. Ground merging causes the, the base ground to show through. If I click turn that off, the base ground doesn't show through. All right, so let's turn off. Let's get out of that. Now let's do some markings. We want to do um, the numbers at the thresholds. So we've done, this should say 33 down here at the end, which it does. All right, so that's done. So what we want to do now is the, um, we're gonna go here to runway right there which is what we're on. And we want to do the runway starts. Right now it's defaulting to start right here. We don't want that. So we want to edit. And we want to bring this start all the way back to right here. And what you want is the head of the arrow on top of the numbers, because that's where the airplane will sit. So we've done that, and we want to do the opposite end. So we uncheck the edit, and check edit on secondary start. So let's move down to the opposite end. And we could just grab this as we're moving, because it'll move with us.
All right, that looks good right there. The head of the arrow is on the 15. So now we can uncheck edit. So now we have ourselves um, an airstrip with a runway. And it's now 2048. So that took us, it was 2008. That took us exactly 40 minutes to do. So what we want to do now is we want to save all of this. I'm going to bring these all back over where they were before. And I think this was somewhere down here. All right, so that's that. We want to um, save the scenery. And we want to build a package. We'll just wait for it to build. And what does it say? It says it's finished. One was skipped, didn't need to be done. It was previously done. Three were done and none of them failed. So that's a good sign. So what we do now is we go over to the other monitor and we go to the debug right here, close the console and close down all the editors. And close out Microsoft. And then what we're going to do is um, we can close out the calculator. What we're going to do now is move everything that we've just built into our community folder. And you can see what Microsoft has automatically done. Um, you can look at package definitions. You can see what it's done. Content info. That's our placeholder. It automatically did that. Um, package metadata. That's the XML file that has our latitude and longitude and the name of the airport. That's been done. Package sources. There really wasn't anything in package sources because we didn't add any 3D models or any other special materials. So there's nothing in there. So what we need to do now is just simply put this into the community folder. Now I use add-ons linker, which is a great, great mod. It's a free mod on flightsim.to. It's called add-ons linker. And it allows you to categorize all your sceneries, all your aircraft, all your utilities, and you can control which ones you want to, 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 uh, to be used in Microsoft. I'll show you in a second. So let's just move our airport cast, which is the name of our airport, Let's move it over into my add-ons linker. And there it is there. It just got added in. Can close that and close that. Now I'm going to open up the actual mod itself. What I opened before were the folders where that went. So what I'm just going to scoot down here to find uh, asked airstrip. There it is right there. So I want to activate that. And I want to activate it over here so it automatically comes on. Okay. 
And now that that's done, we need to reload Microsoft. So here we go. So I'll just pause the video until Microsoft is loaded. Okay, Microsoft is up to its main screen. So let's go in and let's uh, type in C-A-S-T, which was Airstrip Test Chilliwack Flats. Okay, and let's turn it to daylight. And let's put it on clear skies and daylight. Okay, there we are. And there it is. It shows up on the world map over on the flats. There's Chilliwack Airport right there. And uh, we have not created any parking spots on this particular airport, so let's just go to the runway, the, the, the active runway. So we're loading up. I'll pause it. Oh, maybe I don't need to pause it. It's going pretty quick. It seems to be going pretty quick. It's been exactly um, 40, 43 minutes right now since we actually started. And that takes into account the starting and stopping of Microsoft. So there we are. Let's go out into the drone. There's runway 33. Let's go up. Let's come back. There we are. And that's our airstrip. This is the dried up pond that I have to recreate if I want to make this into a proper airstrip, which I might. I might want to. There's some dried up beds here. I don't know if these, it, doesn't, it didn't show ponds on a little nav map, but it looks like it's, that could be, I could put some, some trees there, some bushes and trees. And I probably want to take these two trees down for easier approach. And Chilliwack is just over over that away. So that's it. That's it. Thank you very much for watching. Um, like I said, it's it's a really quick down and dirty video on how I do it. I think the key points here is uh, the, found, the foundation needs to be where do you want the runway? That's number one. Number two is the, the center of the runway in order to create your elevation and your latitude longitude. And both of those are easily obtainable from little nav map. And then um, from there, number three, I guess I would say is there's absolutely no need to create um, to create a folder with all the mo with all the fold the subfolders in it because Microsoft does that automatically for you. So thanks for watching. I hope this is of some help. Dane Simir, signing out. For now, anyway. Foxtrot Bravo Bravo, pull up and go around. Go around, Foxtrot Bravo Bravo. Hey, Tower India, Echo Lima, downway 13, touch and go. India, Echo Lima, number 3, follow Cessna, left base, turning one mile final.